Hi guys. So in one of our most recent videos, we were revealing some of the great finds that we have got from Walmart and the My Life As collection. And one of the things that we talked about was this movie director playset. And so we wanted to open it to see everything that was in it. But I also thought what would be fun is to compare it to what's out from our generation and what we have from American Girl. And I also thought it would be fun to get some of the dolls from each collection to help show and represent the collections that we were talking about. So for the Z Yang collection, I don't have Z Yang, but I have number 30, American Girl Mary Catherine, who's gonna stand in for Z Yang. I have a cricket here who is for a My Life As, and then of course there's Kathleen, and if you didn't see her recent unboxing, you'll want to check that out probably right after this, because she's the actual movie director doll for our generation. So we'll do a quick glimpse of her, the things that she came with in comparison, but for a more detailed review, you'll want to hop on over to that other video after this. ahead and let's get started with the My Life As director playset. Are you ready? Let's get to it. So here it is all out. There are like 12 pieces to this set and you guys know that the My Life As usually runs around seven to ten dollars for the this whole pack which is such a great deal. We'll just start here with the movie director a megaphone. So it looks like it has the button. It's a non-working button here. But here's where your doll's hand goes in and then of course where she speaks into and where it comes out. Let's see how it fits her hands, okay? So that's how it looks. Now let's try it in the other doll's hands and see how it fits for them. Okay, so there is a Mary Catherine. It won't fit over the whole hand. See how her pinky is spaced? differently than um, it is on the My Life As Cricket. So we've named her Cricket. That's not what they call her, of course. But anyway, it just kind of rests on there. It fits on Kathleen's right hand. So it fits these two really well as far as right hand. So now let's see what else comes with our accessory pack here. So here is the tripod. Ah! Oh, that scared me for a second. I thought it actually broke. It just snaps back in there. Oh my goodness. I was like, are you kidding? So there. And then if you look here, this can make it taller yet. So that slides up and down and is adjustable. And it kind of clicks in and locks in the little holes, just like if you're using another tripod. So and stand that up like that. And then we have this extension. If we want to get it taller, we can put that on there like so. And then here is the camera, you guys. This is so neat. This is the way it looks from this angle. Here is our microphone coming out this way. Here's the flip screen. And then here it has the battery. So if we press here, then our recording light comes on. Isn't that super awesome? So we can go ahead, it, the minute we let go of the light, it goes off. But I think if we pull, it says pull here, we pull this out, then once we press the button, our light stays on until we turn it off again. Isn't that awesome? And so they can either hold it or we can put it on our stand just like that. And look at that, I love it. It is at the eye height that they would actually be using when you have it fully extended. Is that not super neat? But if you were using, say, like the shorter dolls, then you can adjust, adjust the height. So like if you were using your Welly Wisher size or whatever, but isn't that so cool, you guys? In addition, we have our clapboard here, and so it has the take, the scene, the roll, you know, the date, so then they can clap to get it started. So it's plain on the back, and then it's kind of a shiny on the front. So there's that.
It comes with the director VIP tag so they can wear their identification tag with a Velcro attachment. So there it is. There's the VIP badge around her neck. Super fun. So check this out. There's the coffee mug. So it's got a place inside. It's empty inside. It's got the star and it fits in the Our Generation doll hand. The American Girl girl doll can hold it and it fits very snugly and secure in the My Life As doll. So look at Cricket there holding it and it's in there. It's not going to fall out. So that is really neat. What a great design. Next, we have these cute little red glasses. And there's how they look on her. Doesn't she look cute in those? I love the red frames. Those look so nice. So with the glasses, she's able to look at the headshots sheet. So that's it. She has that as she's casting for her movie or production. She has the script book. And what it is is blank on the inside with line sheets but it says script written and directed by my life as and then she has these what a neat idea but it's actually the storyboards so to create the story so she you can have your director sitting down and putting together the story for the production that she is making so all in all that is really a very complete well thought out set I think don't you guys I mean really for under ten dollars that is truly truly impressive to me so now we need to take a look at the sets from our generation and American Girl still so we can get a full comparison all right you guys this set is gonna be so much fun we're gonna put together a Z Yang's media kit let's get to building Alright, so here, the shorter stand is our light box stand. Look at this, guys. So on the back is where I needed to put in AAA batteries. Watch this. So look at that. So it turns on and off. Isn't that cool? And here you can see on the back where it adjusts to go into the holder, right like that. So then we can tip it or we can turn it if we need to. That is so awesome, isn't it? And then now, let's go ahead and look at the screen. I mean, how cool is this, you guys? It's so fun. And we slide the longest bar in this opening right here. And then on the back side is a green screen. So you can add your own background when you're taking pictures or filming. Oh man, this is so, so neat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get it set up and so that we can take a look at it, okay? You guys, take a look at this. It's kind of made like out of garden flag material, kind of like a waterproof canvas is how it feels. And then it slips on, the rod snaps into the little cup brackets right there. Now it has some wrinkles in it that will either steam out or they'll just kind of hang out. And eventually those will come out but then it has like the flooring look. That is so, so awesome. I love it. Now let's look at the rest of the stuff that comes with the set. So here is the actual, this is the bag that she would take that Z Yang or whatever your doll is that you're using it for. It's got the Z on it for Z Yang because this is from her collection. But this is where you could put your canvas in here and put your sticks um, that set up your, your back screen 
and your light screen. You can put your light stand in there and then it draws strings up here so it keeps it all together. And then it comes with a studio lighting book which gives tips on the different types of the names of the lighting that you would use. So that's just a handy little guide. We have the clapboard. So it says production is the Z crew, scene five, take two. And so it's playing back here. So there's that. And then here is her director a megaphone. And it says American Girl in kind of a light purple. Now this is surprising guys. She barely can get her fingers in that to hold it. It's not on there very secure. That really, really surprises me. And she is the truly me doll, so really their hands are pretty uniform. I couldn't get it on that hand that has kind of the splayed pinky. So that surprised me a lot. It did not fit the My Life As doll at all, but it does fit the Our Generation doll on both hands. She can carry it pretty nicely. And then the final thing that this set came with is the award. So for best production, you can get the award. It's the Z Awards. So that's a really neat. And then it shows the little um, director's camera right there. There's the media kit. Now we have Z Yang's filming accessories. So let's get them out and see what comes with this set. Okay, so this set here, this makes up for my disappointment about her not being able to hold that megaphone. Obviously, I can make it work. I just kind of thought that with the price of the, what American Girl charges, that they would make sure that it actually fit their hands really well. Maybe Z has a little bit of a smaller hand. I don't know. I highly doubt it. But anyway, wait, let's get into this set, you guys. This is so, so neat. Now, so first off, we have the uh, backpack. It has the Z on it. It Velcros on the straps. Then you can see the inside of it there. And then back here, it has adjustable straps. So there's the backpack. Now, let's look at some of the equipment. So here is the actual tripod. The legs are pretty flexible. They do adjust. So that's, that's actually a nice surprise. I didn't think that they did. So look at that. So we can actually adjust the legs to make it a little bit taller if we want to, or because a lot of times what she's going to be doing is desktop work. She can have it setting on something and then doing her filming or her pictures for her stop motions. And here is the actual holder for like the camera or the cell phone. It has a foam piece right here for it to rest upon. And then it has a grippy side. Can you see that? Um, that goes at the top. So we go ahead and we can put that on here and there it snaps on like that. The other thing I want to just show you on here is see how it, it's it's spring loaded here to to adjust to the size of whatever piece of equipment she puts in there. So that's really kind of neat. Now the legs seem to be if you put pressure on them they do collapse. So let's see if we can get them all like where they're even. All right. So there's that. Now, let's start with the phone. So here is her phone. It has the strap that slides on the doll's hand. So the nice thing I like about this is when they have the straps like this that are flexible, they should fit all the doll's hands. So let's go ahead and I'll show you. This opens up like that, okay? And then it comes with these different screen options. So it has her using the little mini kit doll. You see that? And popcorn, he's photobombing it looks like. And then they're double-sided. So she's got one of the dolls doing a cartwheel. She's got weather, changing scenes. Then there is popcorn again. And then there she is. And they, they could be doing their vlog or whatever. So there's Z and her friend. So those are really neat. And what they do then, we'll just take the weather one. We'll put the weather in here. Hopefully I'm not getting it upside down. We'll find out. And then it snaps on like that. So then she has her screen. And you obviously can put whatever picture in there you want. But I wanted to save the other ones to show you. So there's the phone. 
And then here is the video camera. So look at this. So it says American Girl. The screen opens. Here's your record button. Here is another adjusting button, more than likely for focus. And then it has the flexible strapping here. And then this pops open and we can put a screen in there and then close it like that and so you can see whatever she's looking at and then it closes up like that and snap shut isn't that so cool okay so guys obviously these type this type of equipment is near and dear to my heart considering with the channels what we do so I just think that is so fun now here is the actual camera and so it has the um, the lens, it doesn't turn or there's not any buttons that you can press or anything. It has this pretty little camera strap here that's removable. So it's like done with a buttonhole and then it can slide on. Here is right where it opens. This is so neat that they added these. I just think that makes it extra fun. So we can take our third screen and then she has the ability to see whatever she's taking pictures of or recording. Now this is the extra option that I think is super fun. Watch this. She actually can hold it you guys. It fits on her finger. That is so neat. I just love it. Whew. So there are the two sets from Z Yang's collection that go for the filming and all the camera work. So now they are no longer available from American Girl because Z Yang was girl of the year and she's been retired for several years. But you can sometimes still find things on Macari and eBay and stuff like that. So I just wanted you to kind of see how it compared there to the My Life app. So now let's get to our generation. So first off, these are the things that came with Kathleen. And if you didn't see her unboxing yet where we reviewed these things, then you might want to check the video out after this. But it came, she came with the scope, the eye scope. She came with the tripod and the movie camera. And she came with a, a little a book, a little script book. We'll put those there. And now let's take a look at this. Our box is a little ripped there, but this is the Our Generation Retro set and it's called Real Cool. So, you know, as in like a movie reel. So very cool. So it says video camera has a viewfinder with an image. So let me get it out of the box so we can take a better look. First off, here is the movie camera. So it's the handheld recording device. It has a, a spot up here on the top that it does actually kind of push in. And then it has T and W. Not 100% sure. Maybe that's telescoping and wide. I don't know. <laughs> and then it has a button here that also pushes. So there is, you're actually looking down the lens. It has the adjustable strap here. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this or not. Let me see. There, there, look at there. So it um, kind of gives you that retro vibe of an old movie camera. Isn't that kind of cool? So there's the camera. Then it comes with, basically it's got, it looks like the movie reel here. It doesn't fit like on there per se. So it's just kind of like an added accessory it looks like. And this is kind of like a rubberized um, feel for the film. And then it has the clapboard. So the neatest thing I think about this versus the other three is it's printed on both sides. So the other two are only printed on one side and this has a really nice feel to it. I really, really like the way that one feels. So there is the set. I've had this little set for a little bit and just had not opened it yet. And so I'm not sure that this one is still available. When I look, tried to look online, I saw it on the secondhand market. You can still find it, what do I want to say? Not necessarily secondhand, but um, it was still in packages, but it was being sold by other retailers other than Target. And the average price I saw for it was about $12. Usually these sets, if you get them directly from Target, they retail for about $7.99, so about $8 a set. And the retro vibe is really cute, isn't it? Don't you think, guys? 
So there is the Our Generation set that we have with the cameras and the accessories. The American Girl set for Z Yang and there's all of the accessories that you get with that. And then the My Life As set and all of the things that you get with that. So that being said, you've seen them all. Do you have a favorite? Here's where I'm at with it. I love the idea that each one has come out with a set. So they all have their pluses and their minuses. If money were no object, I would obviously probably go for all the American Girl set. Um, with the uh, light box and the back screening and then having all of the small cameras and that sort of thing. I just think that's really neat. But money usually is a factor. So with that being said, the very cheapest set that you get the very most with is the My Life Asset. I'm telling you, that is a super bargain. I would pick probably that. The Our Generation set, I love the doll. I think she's so, so pretty. And I think it's neat that a doll can come with some of her accessories and you don't have to buy them separately. I think that's really neat. This camera does not stay on its tripod very well. The legs adjust really nicely, but it falls off really, really easily. And so if you go with the, the feel of everything and the um, if you look at that, and the quality of it, then I would probably have to go with one of these two. But we're still totally going to play with this stuff and use this stuff in our collection. I hope you guys really enjoyed this enormous review of all the camera sets for the 18 inch dolls. If you got something out of today's review and you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Please give us a great big thumbs up. And if you like more videos like this and don't want to miss out on anything, make sure you subscribe right down there. All right, guys. So it's been really fun. And I'll be waiting for you in the next video. Bye.